Okay, we're going to summarize my testing for heavy broadheads for uh, hunting. And I have these set up in case I have a situation if a applied for an elk tag, didn't get it for here in Pennsylvania. But I do have black bear in my area. So I was building heavy arrows so that if the opportunity of a bear or if I would have drew, drew a elk tag, I would have something that would work on those two animals and if they work on them, they will work for deer. So I was building these heavy arrows. What I have here is my testing of my field points for 125 grain field point. Total arrow weight was 555. The 150 grain field point total weight of the arrow was 580. And the 175 field point total arrow weight was 605. Now I'll round them up from what you might be reading on the front side here. But the thing that is impressive, at 20 yards, all three of them or the same hole. Now to take that a step further, because when I started out I was doing a lot of my testing with the 200s, the 225s, the 250s, the 275, and the 300 grain field points. Now the 200 grain field point total hour weight is 630. The 225 is 655, the 250 is 680, the 275 is 705, and the 300 comes in at 730 grain total hour weight. I rounded these up. But here with the 200 to 300 grains at the 20 yard mark also, the 200 and 225 hit the same area. The 250 and the 275 punched the same hole, and the 300 came in right underneath the 250, 275. So through testing, you find this stuff out. If you don't test, you have no idea what will happen. But even in these heavier weights, a 200, 225 are grouping the same, the same way with the 250, 275, and 300 are all about the same. So really, in, in theory, you could use anything from 2 to 300 there with a total hour weight of 630 to 730 and shoot within a very close area the same thing without making any adjustments. This was my bow set up for shooting 17 inch arrows, 100 grain head. With probably total arrow weight in the, around the 400, 410, something like that. As far as broadheads, I will end up using the Magnus Sear Raider Black Hornet 125 grain broadhead. Now just remember, this setup is what works for me with the crossbow I'm using, which is an Excalibur Matrix 355. This doesn't mean that a, this same setup will work with your crossbow. This is why you need to test. I'm showing you what is working for me. You have to do your testing to see what will work for you with your crossbow that you're shooting. You can't depend on somebody on YouTube telling you this is what you need to use because it works for me. 
doesn't work that way. You have to figure it out for yourself what works for you with your crossbow. It might be the same, you might have end up with the same thing as I ended up with. It might not, but you need to do your own testing with your crossbow. Don't rely on what I'm telling you. This is what worked for me. It might not work for you. This is Steve with STO Wildlife Calls TV. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hope this heavy arrow build helps you determine what you can do with your crossbow. Give us a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.